This woman was on her way to a birthing center when her water broke prematurely. With no help in sight and no time to spare, she delivered a healthy 10-pound baby all by herself. Now, she may have been by herself, but she's not alone. Giving birth without medical assistance is a worst-case scenario for pregnant people. I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind here. But for a select few, it's a dream come true. Why are more and more pregnant people choosing to give birth at home? How can you deliver your own baby? And why could it land you in jail? This is your body on giving birth by yourself. The trend toward non-hospital births has been rising steadily for years. Get this baby out of me, please! The number of home births in the U.S. increased by 22% from 2019 to 2020. Social media is awash in pictures and videos of laboring mothers in inflatable pools surrounded by midwives and loved ones. Oh, that was amazing. But recently, a more radical approach to childbirth has taken the internet by storm. Free birth. Free birthing is the planned delivery of a baby without any midwives or medical assistance. It's often assisted birth. While most pregnant people deliver at home, some opt for more natural environments. I've given birth outside in the wild. Free birthing provides the mother with total control over the birth of her baby. Oh, here it goes. I don't feel like anybody else can serve me better than I can serve myself. It's an attractive choice for those who have had negative experiences with doctors and hospitals. My first birth was traumatizing in a lot of ways. I ended up having a cascade of interventions and I felt very unempowered. Parents who choose free birth are generally against medical intervention during birth. I just want to be able to fully tune into my body's inner wisdom and just let it happen as it, it naturally should. Free birthing can also make intimacy during childbirth more comfortable. Many laboring people have sex to stimulate contractions and relieve pain. It was very important for me to give birth somewhere that I was comfortable having an orgasm. Others simply want to avoid the high cost of a hospital birth, which will set you back about $4,500 in the U.S. But these savings come with some serious risks. I literally thought I was dying. Risks. Delivering outside of the supervision of medical care may be more comfortable, but that does not make it safer. Call 911. Home birth babies are three times more likely to experience neurological damage and seizures than those born in hospitals. Even scarier, these births suffer twice the infant mortality rate. It's my fault. About 10 to 40 percent of home births require transfer to a hospital due to complications. I thought I was going to die in my bathtub. So it is essential to be aware of any risks associated with your pregnancy before making your birth plan. Babies breach. Pregnant people should not have a free birth if they are carrying multiples, have previously had a C-section, or if the baby is in an improper position. These deliveries are more likely to pose complications, requiring medical attention. We're going to do a C-section right away. But emergencies can arise even when mom and baby are in perfect health. I literally thought I was dying. <laughs> I had no idea what was wrong. Some babies get distressed at the end of labor and are born not breathing. She's blue. Kickstarting their lungs is quick and easy for a trained medical professional, but it is almost impossible for an unqualified and exhausted parent fresh out of delivery. Nothing will prepare you for that moment. So having a backup plan in the case of emergencies is crucial. Oh, it's too late. Planning. If you decide to move forward with a free birth, it is important to be well informed. Knowing the stages of labor. I think my water's broken. What they feel like. I feel her head coming down. <laughs> and what happens during each one. I'm never fast now. Can help you understand what to expect once childbirth begins. <laughs> Make sure to monitor your blood pressure at regular intervals during the birth. If it begins to fall, seek medical help immediately. 
Sudden drops in your blood pressure starve your body of oxygen, which can cause severe organ damage and kill you. So make sure to plan your free birth near a hospital and have transportation at the ready. If your free birth delivery goes wrong, you might face legal trouble. Laws. It is not illegal to give birth unattended by healthcare professionals, but it will ring several alarm bells with authorities. Many doctors have reported women who refuse treatment to social services. I got a phone call from social services saying that I was putting my unborn baby at risk. And if your baby doesn't make it, you might face criminal charges. A number of women in the U.S. have been prosecuted, some of them for murder, after delivering stillborn babies at home. It, it didn't seem to be that it was treated as a stillbirth. It seemed to be like it was being treated as murder. These instances are rare, but worth considering when deciding where you would like to give birth. If you get to decide. Emergencies. Not everyone has the luxury of choosing a free birth. People around the world do it every day out of necessity. Like Diana Sanchez. The 27-year-old woman gave birth alone in a Denver jail cell without any medical supervision or treatment. That pain was just so, it's so indescribable. Diana screamed for help through hours of contractions. She got none. Nobody cared. Whether you're in a jail cell or on the side of the road, if you have to deliver your baby alone, here's what to do. <laughs> Find a flat and steady surface and try to get as comfortable as possible. Sitting or squatting will help gravity do some of the work. Focus on panting. It'll distract you from the pain and relax your muscles to prevent vaginal tearing. Eventually, your contractions will get closer together and can last 60 to 90 seconds. It's hurt. You'll experience pressure in your lower back and rectum. Ah, I feel like I should push. Push! When you see the head, place your hands under it for support. If you can, wash your hands first. The baby will have a weak immune system and be susceptible to infections. Guide the little one into a blanket, towel, or whatever you've got nearby. That works. Keep pushing! You gotta breathe, mommy. Once both shoulders are visible, gently lift your baby toward your stomach, and the rest will come out. He's here. Hold that little love close. She's so pretty! Skin-to-skin -skin contact releases oxytocin, which contracts the uterus and reduces bleeding risk. I feel great! Okay. Cozy up under a blanket if you can. Babies lose a lot of heat when wet, so it's essential to keep both of you warm. <laughs> the placenta will come out on its own in the next 30 minutes. Don't pull it out. That can cause a uterine inversion. That's when the uterus is pulled inside out or sometimes even right out of the body. Cutting the umbilical cord is the most dangerous part of the delivery since it can lead to hemorrhaging. If you have to cut it yourself, wait until it stops pulsating. Tie the cord off tightly with a heavy string about 10 centimeters from the baby and then again 5 centimeters from the first string. Then cut between the two ties. You did it! <gasps> you were born on the 405. While hospitals are often considered the safest places to give birth, you have the right to choose how and where your baby is born. But if you're expecting octuplets, I'd think twice about a free birth. How is it even possible to deliver eight babies at once? We'll find out in another episode of Your Body On.